Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, I feel like honestly, oh, I feel like it's going to bring you to the Empress energy here, man, totally. Um, yeah, it's bringing down somebody's tower, though. I'm telling you, you're making a judgment call. Okay, so somebody out here wants to get back together with you, okay? But today, um, I, I feel like you're just bringing down towers. You're out here doing your thing, being a healer, spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, um, putting love into whatever it is that you're doing. But with the star energy, I feel like there was one, there was somebody hoping they could heal things with you or wanting to heal things with you. But also, I feel like you're manifesting something new. You're deciding here. You're um, um, meditating on things. You're being very peaceful and calm, but you know what towers you need to bring down. You're putting things behind you here. So that, so that you can be free, okay? I'm really feeling like um, as soon as you, I feel like this is like burdensome, right? Anything that isn't serving you, anything that feels like a burden, um, you're putting behind you in this, where you are here, um, in your placement. You're putting this behind you. And I feel like now you're like, celebrating your life celebrating your or you're gonna be celebrating a brand new cycle here and that's gonna bring you to this empress energy see to get to the empress number one you have to go through hell to get to this point okay but the empress energy signifies learning and acquiring all of the qualities in every queen in the deck okay so from what I can tell just from this one card here, um, let's see, you are very, very loving to people, right? You poured love into everything um, and everybody, all your relationships, right? And that love could have been taken for granted or taken advantage of, all right? You felt stabbed in the back after all of that because nobody gave you the love back that you gave, dished out for everybody else. You nurtured other people, and I feel like on this journey, you've been through a journey here. On this journey, I feel like everyone else, they, they, it, you felt forsaken. You felt dropped to the wayside. And at that point, your energy kind of turned into the Queen of Swords energy, okay? Where you felt very stabbed in the back, betrayed, and just wanting people to be honest with you you know you want to know where you stand with other people and I feel like um, it made you um, really take a look at all of your relationships and all of the people that you've poured love into and you've seen things from a new light you've gotten clarity right and you expect honesty right and from there, I feel like um, you built up your finances, your stability. You started to work on you, all right? Learning the Queen of Pentacles energy, right? Getting your stability back. Focusing on your home, your family, your, your job, your business, your finances, um, and your stability. Building a nest egg for yourself, some savings, right? And just being grounded. You just didn't want to be in your emotions anymore. You know, there was a part of you that kind of didn't want to nurture people that weren't going to nurture you back. And expecting clarity from everyone that you dealt with. Okay? Um, and you just wanted a time in your life where you were stable, grounded, and out of your emotions. Then from there, right, right about here, you kind of take on... The Queen of Wands energy, okay? Um, now, the Queen of Wands has a lot of drive, a lot of passion for life, okay? And the Queen of Wands is a warrior. She's been through it, been through hell, right? And um, really wants to put things behind her so that she can take control of her own life, her own future, and go after the things that she wants that are going to make her happy, okay? So basically, you've been through a journey. Look at the goosebumps on my arm, right? I'm right. I'm on point about this. 
And now you're stepping out into a whole new cycle and you're celebrating being able to drop burdens that were really heavy, people, situations that um, really didn't serve you, okay? And you're realizing, you know, pouring love into yourself here and healing, all of this healing that you've done, you're realizing that this journey really was about you and acquiring every queen in the deck. And so now, you know, you're in this, this here, realizing what, what you want in your life and what you don't, and letting the things that you don't want just kind of fall apart, okay? It's not like you did anything. You weren't rash about anything. You weren't mean to anybody. You just let things fall. It really wasn't for you. And now you're free. And, and you know, you're sitting in the Empress throne here, and there is somebody who wants you back. They want you back. They want to reunite. They're thinking about all that you used to be. Maybe this was when your journey first started. You could have still had been naive, very loving, very giving, very nurturing. I feel like this is somebody who hid either themselves or other things from you. And I feel like this is when they took advantage of your love right here, right there. That's when you were still in that Queen of Cups energy, wanting to nurture and just give out your love. You just wanted to love this person. But when this person hid some things from you and pulled that cup back, that's when you turned into the Queen of Swords energy. Because they really did take advantage of somebody who not only would have never hurt them with a mitten on, you, you were nothing but honest with them because your hoodie's down. And you looked up to them. You trusted them. You thought they were the bee's knees, right? And they took advantage of that. I feel like now they're realizing, sitting here kicking rocks, um, I feel like that whatever they were focused on other than you at the time, that's going to be over. That could be this tower moment for them, right? I feel like the real tower moment for them, though, is realizing that you were the blessing here the whole time. They're seeing how much you've grown from, from this person here who had nothing but love but may have been naive and gotten hurt to this empress here who is, um, I feel, a bit impenetrable. Okay, because you've acquired every queen in the deck, you've learned it on this journey. You know, Earth here is really just a classroom. It's really a classroom for, for our souls to perfect something. Okay, and I feel like in this journey, you really did perfect a lot of things. You perfected the healing to the point where you can now heal other people with your knowledge and that love. You've learned how to use that love and experience, okay? It could have made you very abundant, very stable, right? Um, Queen of Pentacles energy, right? Um, it got you through. You learned how to heal yourself from the damages caused by others. Queen of Swords energy. And stand up for yourself and, and use that intuition to bring yourself clarity. Queen of Swords energy. And then you learn how to move on. Um, you're no longer the person that they remember you to be. You're no longer a pushover. You're no longer somebody who can be taken advantage of. Okay? Um, that's what I mean by impenetrable, right? People need to actually come to you and be real and um, be leveled up in their mannerisms and you know, the way they treat other people. You won't expect, you won't take anything less than decent treatment and respect from this point on. And that's why you're a success at whatever it is that you're doing here. Okay? Um, so I feel like you're making the judgment call here or this person is under judgment because they didn't come to make it right. I kind of feel like it's both. Um, and that's their tower moment. I mean, I feel like they're thinking back on you and having all these fond memories and everything, but are they thinking about what they did to you? Okay. 
uh, because you sure learned a lesson from that, right? Clarify judgment. Yeah, I feel like um, you're making a judgment call here. You And in Empress Energy, I got to say, you're so strong and stable and you've learned so many lessons um, and you've endured so much that you really don't, you're very independent here and you're happy and high vibing. Look at all the yellow, right? You're happy and high vibing being on your own collective with a job to do for the divine. That's what you're doing here. You're doing a job. You're helping other people. You're helping them heal. You're helping them get to a high vibing state and you're helping them through the same journey that you've been on one way or another. Right? Whatever you're doing, you're doing with love. And that's what makes the difference. And, um, yeah, I feel like the judgment call you're making is, hey, I don't, I don't need this person anymore. I'm going to disconnect so that I can celebrate my life. Right? They can feel that. Yeah, see? Judgment call. I feel like you're going towards a spiritual journey. You're gonna be, your judgment call is to focus on you. Um, and I feel like in doing this, I feel like new love is gonna come in towards you here. Um, clarify the sun. I'm gonna shout out some signs, not that it matters in this reading really, but you could be an Aquarius, a Taurus, um, you could be a Scorpio, or your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Scorpio, actually. Um, water, it's really heavy on water out here. And I've got Leo, so um, take everything how it resonates, right? Clarify the sun. I feel like judgment, once you make this judgment call to step away from connections that really didn't see your value. Okay, this person didn't see the value. They were handed this blessing in love and they turned their nose up at it because they were too busy focusing on something that wasn't working out. So I feel like this person really didn't see your value at the time. And as soon as you take a step forward and leave this behind you, right, bringing down that tower, new love comes in here. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get some kind of clarity here, too. Somebody is about, or this could be your intuition that someone's coming in, but I kind of get the feeling like, um, yeah, I feel like this is this person knowing that somebody's coming towards you. That's the feeling that I'm, yep, <laughs> yep, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. They know either they have to come towards you and they're afraid and they're moving too slow, or this is somebody new coming, and they're watching it happen. Take it how it resonates, but this person's getting clarity here, and they are falling apart. Now, this is the person whose tower is coming down. This is somebody that you're deciding to leave behind you. Yeah, I feel like um, they realize just they're thinking about with you. They they were happy. That was a time when they could have been happy. And if they had stuck with you, their wishes would have been fulfilled. Well, you're an empress and a star. You you could be doing something in the public eye here. Whatever you're doing, you're working for God. Um, and you're very good and skilled at what you do. Yeah, they can see you out here being a star and they know that you're going places in life and they could have had a wish-fulfilled life with you and this person's fallen apart and I feel like they know new love is coming in. It's like they want to get you to calmer waters, but this person could have done a lot behind your back. Uh, they could have made a whole lot of mistakes with you and um, they haven't been able to confront that. In order to heal this with you, they can't just face plant you um, in all of these sorts, right? That would put you in a mental mind trap. You're not going to allow that to happen as an empress, and they flipping know it. You will not allow that as an empress energy. So, um, yeah, in order to get control of this thing, they have to tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And they don't want to do that. 
They don't want to do that. I feel like this person's played games with you in the past and sabotaged this connection. When they did that, I feel like what they did was they got you to love them, right? They offered you that cup of love and then they put you on a shelf with a bunch of other options and they ex may have expected you to chase after them. Okay, that's really what I'm thinking here, but in instead you ended up being in a mental mind trap about it while you worked on yourself and learned every queen in the deck, right? Um, and that's been overturned. I feel like you can clearly see now that's why you're Bring, letting the tower fall on this person because they, they, they snickered about it behind your back. This is the stuff they don't want to tell you, but I feel like you're intuitive enough, getting enough messages that you've already figured that out. And that's why you're making this judgment call because this is you've been shown this already. You're getting messages at Tarot Land, your dreams, um, signs, synchronicities, whatever, right? I feel like that's what they don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about really, they treated you like you were nothing. Like you, you know, like everybody else thought you would chase them. They really wanted their ego fed. They could have slandered, slandered your name behind your back. A lot of gossip here. Like this person here who's missed out on this opportunity they treated you horribly, and they know it, and they don't want to deal with it. They want to get away with it, okay, and they can't because in this energy, you won't let them. Yeah, I feel like they know they need to apologize here, um, but they even, they're even looking at that cup like, I don't know, there's a fish in that cup. Yeah. How do they apologize for everything they did to you and everything they did behind your back, right? Yeah, and you're not going to accept anything but the truth, see, because you've acquired the Queen of Swords energy from the betrayal, right? I hope you guys are following that. I, I totally picked apart the Empress, but... I wanted you to understand just how much work you've done on yourself. Yeah, this person's toxic. And they could even be in a toxic situation. They could have addictions, um, alcoholism, um, any, any kind of thing they do obsessively. This is a toxic individual. And I think, they, I think their toxicity stems from this. Playing games with other people's emotions and heart. Okay, treating people like an option and laughing at, at their um, suffering, right? Because it feeds their ego. Because it feeds their ego. That's the toxicity here. And I, I don't know, um, you know, some people can break that, some people can't. If this is just a way of life for this person, it may be hard for them to break. But they're going to have to carry this burden because they know exactly. They know exactly what games they played with you and what it did to you. And now they can see how it changed you, though. Okay? They can see how strong you've become. So they know, man, when if they approach you with this fish in this, in this cup, that apology is not going to be enough for all that they did. Yeah, manipulation. Um, yeah, they're really wishing they could go back in time and do things differently. That's really what I'm getting here. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, kind of heavy on Virgo now. Heavy on water signs in Virgo. All right. Maybe Aries. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's, you know, if they come in with this apology and the fish in the cup, they're, it's going to be kind of like manipulation. They've got to make this uh, cup look bigger than what it is. And I, I feel like they, they know they can't. They don't have a defense for what they did to you. The only thing that this person can do is tell the whole truth. And they don't want to do that because it would make them look bad. 
so they're really stressed out about it. They 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 need to try to defend themselves even though they know every single thing that they did to you. And the one thing they don't want to do here is tell the truth. Yep. So this person is doing nothing but kind of thinking about you and they're having a really bad day, okay? They are having a really bad day and they know that it's all because of their behavior and how they treated you. And they know and can feel that this connection is coming to an end. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like um, their immaturity, you know, the Page of Wands, this can be a very um, positive card. Um, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but I feel like with the Page of Wands here, they're, they're immature. They, they run around the questions. They don't really want to ask the questions, you know, or a I'm sorry, answer the questions. They, they don't. They, they really don't want to do it. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Um, they just, they're very flighty, they can do impulsive things, um, this could be communication, but I'm, with the walking away card, I, I really feel like this person, um, they're, they know they're suffering a painful ending because they've done things to you that they can't come back from, and they don't want to tell the truth about it anyway. They really don't want to um, have to try to defend themselves because they know they don't have a defense. They can't um, project any of this onto you because you worked on yourself and you've been very peaceful, sweet, and nurturing to this person. They can't blame anyone else because this is the stuff that they chose to do. And there's things that this person has done behind your back collective that you don't know about. You may never know about it because they just don't want to confront it. Okay? They do want to reunite here. But I feel like they're getting their karmic justice. This person is in pain. They're a mess. Um, they know it's their own dang fault. And they may have to walk away from this. Okay? They may have to walk away from this, and I feel like this is their karmic justice. This is their karmic justice, because they really want this new beginning. All right, give me one more for the collective. I feel like you've defeated this person at their own game just by doing absolutely nothing besides work on you. Okay? You've defeated them without even playing the game. Yeah, and I feel like the, here's the higher font. This person's suffering the karma right now for how they treated you and not making it right. And the divine is telling you, collective, look, um, you've learned your lessons. You've had integrity. You've stood in your boundaries and your truth. And I feel like they're, they're telling you to go out there and, and live your life. I feel like um, they're standing by you as they have through this whole journey. And they are all that you had through this journey. Am I right? So they're, they're telling you here, we are standing by you. Stand your ground. We are standing by you too. I feel like you're protected here. You're protected. The tower's coming down for, for whoever this is, but now is a time for you to celebrate for having the integrity and the backbone that you had through this, for all that you had to endure, and for all of the lessons you learned and all of the tests you passed. I feel like the divine is kind of giving you an attaboy and a leg up, right? And they're saying, go and celebrate. I feel like you are free. You guys are awesome, man. You're like my hero. <laughs> you are. I love you, Collective. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I really, really, really do hope that resonates with you. Okay? I do. And I hope it helps. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. If you like this vibe and it's resonating with you join the family because we're such a loving family here we really are i don't get any hate or anything like that on this channel 
I am so grateful for that. 